Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm doing a quick video and a first impression of driving a Hummer EV. A uh, huge thank you to one of my friends for including me in part of his journey and picking this thing up. Um, we picked it all the way up in Ohio and we're driving it back to New Jersey. So this is basically how the outside is. Right now we are at a Sheets somewhere in Pennsylvania at a uh, Electrify America stop. And this is one of those uh, first editions, I believe. And so it only comes in white with a lot of the black exterior bits here and black wheels. Um, this is the outside. Basically looks extremely similar to how it looks like in Call of Duty. Um, this is the back over here. The charging port is gonna be on your driver's side in the rear. And just like a lot of the other um, GMC products that has this multi-functioning step so this will come back and the tonneau cover is electric your button for it is right here so all you have to do is tap it once uh, to retract and then to bring it back out so here you can see that and this is the vehicle more in the sunlight uh, has these side steps over here you can see here Hummer EV. Um, if you can listen, the fans are on, it's charging right now. And another cool little feature is as the vehicle is charging, you can see how low it is in the headlight. So right here, it's pretty low. I think we got it to about 20% left and then it's charging all the way up. Um, but overall driving it, it wasn't too bad. One of the things I noticed was that the steering wheel when you're driving with very minimal input, um, when you're driving with minimal input, it's, uh, oh, let me put this to widescreen for the interior shots. So when you're putting with a little bit input, so like a very slight bend curve, the steering wheel feels really heavy. Um, the user interface, which is part of this big screen, it's off right now. Maybe I can show you some footage of it later. When we're not driving but the user interface was weird so part of the part of the uh user interface that i wasn't a fan of was that it uses a google maps type of deal where um when you choose your destination right there's an option to include stops to charge on the way which is really awesome. However, on the way back, the first stop that we were supposed to stop at was coincidentally another Sheets. Boom. Oh, yep, another Sheets. But the charging station was not ready yet, but it was still on the map that it was. So I would recommend that you download some of the different um, charging station apps on your phone. And then from there, um, from there, double check that to make sure that they're actually open and not just at a new station. This is your cruise control setting. And then this button right here is the super cruise. So this bar here uh, will glow blue. And then um, it basically scans your eyes to make sure that you're looking forward. And then um, once it turns green, then you can basically let go of the wheel for the most part if you really wanted to. And the car will drive itself along with the cruise control set simultaneously. All right, so here's some footage of the Super Cruise feature in action. You can see the green bars uh, there, which means that it's activated. Um, we were going on the highway, and sorry it's not lit and you can't see my friend's hands not on the steering wheel. But as I pan over here, you can see the vehicle actually changing lanes by itself, which is a crazy awesome feature. Anyways, back to the rest of the video. Um, but yep. Shifter, this knob, I know this one does some of the crawl function, which I felt in a parking lot. And it was super weird because you're going one way, but the car is like crab or your car is pointed. The Hummer EV is pointed in one direction, moving totally elsewhere. Um... But, yep, uh, basically, the things that really surprised me, the heaviness of the steering wheel, and the UI needs to be fixed a little bit um, with that charging station feature in Google. Um, double check and actually download the apps to make sure that those charging stations that are featured on Google are actually active. 
And then the other thing is that when you're using the Google application on the vehicle, it's a bit laggy. It kind of like moves like a block and it's not a smooth function. Um, here with the light, like I said earlier, you can see it's a, maybe hopefully you can see it's a bit of a blue tint in the front and in the rear, not so much. Um, lots of space back here underneath the seat. It's actually pretty much flat with the exception of your door charger or your home outlet charger. And then, um, yep, it has this two-tone black with white interior. And your vents are here and here. There is a brake controller to the right of your leg underneath the power button here. Um, there's a bunch of our fingerprints from touching it, the screen. And then cool little details um, on all the speaker faces. Uh, it's a Bose system. It looks like there's like a little topographic map. Um, right up here on the left, if you can see, there is a little Hummer right there. Uh, sound system in this was really cool overall. And then I don't know of any other curious quirks. Um, oh, this with these, these windscreen pieces, they do come out. And this one in the front, there's a bunch of bags with felt so that when you put them away, you don't scratch them. Um, my bottom line on this car is that I would say this is more for a local around the town type of car. Um, where we're living in on the East Coast in Northern New Jersey, I think it would be a good car just because there's an ample amount of charging stations and infrastructure built around it. But um, where we were coming from in the Midwest in Ohio, it was not the case. And then my last thing I would say is if this car, if you had a beach home or a vacation home somewhere, I think this would be a great car to have just to get around town, like I said earlier. Um, I could totally picture somebody owning this with just keeping no roof on and then just driving around town, taking family and friends to the beach, so on and so forth. But um, yeah, that's my quick little review, overview, and insights from driving this about a couple hundred miles. Um, oh, last thing, the regen, super strong. Mm, I would argue almost stronger than the Tesla. Um, very different to get used to. And then as you can see here, you can see the time it takes to charge completely and how much we're getting. But that's basically it. Um, overall, pretty decent car. Um, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Stay safe. A couple other interesting quirks. As you can see right here, there's a GMC badge on this Hummer EV. There's also three windshield wipers, three cab lights, and lastly, there are three brake lights on the top. So, yeah, awesome car. Another little detail right there. Hopefully you guys can see it, but the Hummer's logo is embedded in there.